We wanted to determine whether the life physical activity intervention reduced the overall burden or time with major mobility disability among older persons who are sedentary but at high risk for developing new uh, disability in their mobility. The uh, major mobility disability, which was assessed every six months, uh, was defined as the inability to walk about a quarter of a mile. And that's a distance that's often important for carrying out important day-to-day -day activities and hence maintaining one's independence in the community. Physical activity intervention that was evaluated in life focused primarily on walking with the goal of attaining 150 minutes per week, but it also included strength, flexibility, and balance training during two center-based sessions. We evaluated 1,635 persons who were aged 70 to 89 and who were sedentary uh, but had physical limitations. And the trial was conducted across eight different sites in the country, including Yale. We found that the life physical activity intervention compared to the health education intervention, which served as the control group, reduced the overall burden or time with major mobility disability by 25% over a period of three and a half years. And that reduction was driven not only by reducing the initial occurrence of major mobility disability, but also by increasing the likelihood of recovery after an episode of disability and reducing subsequent disability episodes. Once a person became disabled, the goal of the, the intervention was to bring persons back into the program. You know, so they may have, quote, fallen off the bike, but we wanted them to get back on the bike and then regain their independence. And what we've learned in some of our own prior work as mobility disability is a very dynamic process with older persons in particular transitioning between states of independence and disability. The Surgeon General's recommendation is to incorporate 150 minutes of physical activity a week into uh, one's day-to-day uh, -day activities. And, and our studies support those recommendations and suggest that um, a walking-based program can serve as the primary venue for achieving that goal. And that uh, the benefits for such a program um, are, can be sustained over long periods of time and can accommodate illnesses and injuries that may occur that lead to disability, but such a program like the Life Physical Activity Intervention can promote recovery after a disabling event. And that hasn't been demonstrated before. I just wanted to commend the Annals of Internal Medicine for their policy on pre-specification of outcomes for clinical trials. Many journals, or many of the top tier journals, have a policy in which they will not publish results if the outcome was not pre-specified in a study protocol. Annals has a more flexible policy and in terms of the experience in life study, when we designed this trial, which is more than 10 years ago, relatively little was known about the dynamic process of mobility disability. And we still don't have methods to estimate sample size and power using the models that were incorporated into the study. So the analyses that we use for the annals report uh, were not pre-specified. And I think the more flexible policy allows important results such as ours to uh, be published in a top-tier journal and to be disseminated to the benefit uh, of the public.